Alright, hey guys, it's me again. Um, I hope that it looks a little bit better. I actually dished out and, you know, did a little bit of research, yada yada. I got Cam Studio working perfectly now. Should be recording quite high in the frames per second. Um, so what I want to show you today is download managers. Alright, there's a couple that I found for free that I really liked. This first one is called Widestream. Um, it's really good because not only can it do, um, what do you call it? Uh, downloading, download managing, but it can also also accelerate, and you can actually integrate it into Opera and Internet Explorer. But there's also another thing. Um, hold on, let me find it. I, um, anyways, I can't seem to find it, but you can also download Rapid Share uh, and Mega Upload as well as YouTube all from this. It's basically an all-in-one. It's pretty much, it's free. Um, link in the sidebar for it. Uh, so let's actually see this thing work. So I'm just going to go into my favorite IPTV website. Well, one of my favorites. Anyways, which is right here. It's going to take us to load because it's sticky. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, right here, just see download HD. Um, so I'm just going to right click and hit copy link location because it does not support Firefox as of right now. Um, I'll talk to some people, see what I can do. But uh, you just go here, add download, it automatically takes the link out of your clip. It automatically checks your uh, clipboard to see if it's a link, and if it is, it automatically pastes it in there. But in the download type, you'll actually see if I put in a YouTube or a rapid share, it would automatically appear. Just hit OK. Uh, it takes a second to start downloading, but when it does, it moves quite quickly. Um, I have multi-connections on, which is an option where you can actually download with multiple connections to the file, starting at different points, which allows you to download quite fast. So you can see it's six point or it's six seven six nine uh, kilobits per second or kilobytes or not sure what that actually is <laughs> um i can get it can get quite high actually i've gotten up to 2 3 megabytes and i'm working off wi-fi here if you can't tell just let me pop this open and as you can see um kind of low so you know it's not bad it's free and it's nice all right i'm just going to let that sit and download Another one that I found that I really liked is actually from Sun Microsystems, which are the people that developed Flash. Or not Flash, but bleh, Java. There we go. Alright, and you click it. Um, I'll put it in the side because you can get this. It's this little workaround thing that happened. It was garbledy garble that happened. The only problem is there's a small ad right here, which not that big of a deal. Because if you're on the go, you want something that's small and that works, here you go. You just hit add and you have to control V on this but you'll get used to it. You hit OK it'll say retrieving ready to download. You just hit start and there we go it starts. It also supports this multiple connections but it's not as fast as you can see because I'm also raping the internet this because it started first. So you can see the speed drops trying to equalize it but I no longer need this, so go ahead and stop, close that, and I'll delete this. Yeah, so there'll be a link in the sidebar for um, Widestream Download Manager, as well as the Java application right here. It's a JNPL, or JNLP, or whatever it is, and you just open it there, and it's basically some XML code, yada, 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 that actually downloads the manager from the website because every time I tried downloading it it seemed to crack up on me so I'm just gonna stick with this little bit of code um, if you take this and paste it into a web page I'm not sure exactly what'll happen but that'd be kinda cool if it actually allowed you to do it from a web page um, or like from a web page to a server anyways thanks for watching I'll make some more videos later talk to ya